video is going to be about imperial trading or imperial horse delivery. Imperial horse training is perfect when you breed horses and let's say you have too many, they are out of breeds, you need more space in your stable, you don't know what to do, perhaps horses aren't selling very well on the horse market at the time because it's overrun with a bunch of different horses and you don't want to wait. So doing imperial horse delivery can be a great option. Another way that you can utilize imperial trading is for example when you receive horse from a quest maybe progression pass or some sort of a reward horse is low tier and you might not want to bother with it to level it up all the way to 30 or breeding it you want to just free up a space from that horse fast you can also do imperial horse delivery maybe you're taming wild horses and you have too many whatever the reason might be imperial trading or imperial horse delivery is always a great option another great reason to do imperial horse delivery is that for each horse you will receive a golden seal when you collect golden seals depending on the amount you can exchange them for various useful items and the items range anywhere from rumbling earth shard or wind shard to horse gear as well as manos trainers clothes and manos riding crop which will help you in your horse training or you can of course always sell those items and make some money that way another item that you can receive from imperial horse delivery is flower of oblivion and flower of oblivion is used to make mythical powder and mythical powder is the item that is used with mythical arduanat which is a tier 10 dream horse so if you need that item obtaining it through imperial horse delivery might be a great option for you imperial horse delivery is available in every major city and can be done through stable keeper npc what you will need to do is to make sure that your horse or horses checked into the stable and they need to be at least level 15 so you need to make sure you level them up first to level 15 I am currently having two horses that have no breeds left on them they are relatively low tier tier 5 and tier 6 as well as both of them are low level I don't expect selling them for a lot of money so Imperial horse delivery is something I'm interested in if I to check how much money I would get for this level 15 tier 5 horse for example let's see if I to register her at market I would get a little bit over 31 million silver but then of course some of it would be taken out for taxes so it wouldn't be all of this amount of money. If I to do Imperial Horse Delivery, which is one of the options from the drop down menu, if you click on it, then you will see the amount of money you will receive, which is 15 million and a half, a little bit over, basically half of what I would get from selling it. But I will also get, as I've mentioned before, five Flowers of Oblivion and five Golden Seals. Now it's important to note here as well is the amount of seals and the amount of Flower of Oblivion correlates with the tier of the horse. So if I to imperial trade tier 5 horse i will get five of each but if i to imperial trade tier 6 horse i will get six golden seals and 10 flowers of oblivion so keep that in mind okay so let's proceed with this you just click on your horse you choose imperial horse delivery from a drop down menu click on it you'll see what you will receive and then you just click imperial delivery and confirm saying yes and that is done now let's do the second horse let's just check real quick if i to register this tier 6 level 17 male at horse market I would receive 17 million and 321,000 silver minus tax. But now if I to Imperial trade it, I will receive 8,660,000. So it would be about half of that, but let's go ahead and do it. Confirming. And it is done. Now let's check my inventory and see what I have. Here are the 11 golden seals that I've collected as well as 15 flowers of oblivion. I have more of these seals in storage. I will see how many I have when I combine them together. But I guess my goal here is to get either Manus trainer's clothes or Manus riding crop, which I already do have. But these items cost a lot of money on the marketplace. If you enhance them, you can get even more. But if you need something else, you can always get horse gear or a crystal or whatever it is that you desire. I think it's just a great way to obtain certain items in some other way besides buying them. While I was doing the video I also noticed my progression pass is glowing and it is because I finished something for training and looks like it is complete imperial horse delivery which I just did. Let's click on it and I will receive a Kafra stone for it which is not bad. 
just something extra. And by doing so, I have something also on the top here. I have now two extra mount XP scrolls, which will give me mount XP plus 20% and duration is 10 hours. This will be it for today's short horse video about Imperial trading, Imperial horse delivery. I hope that it was helpful and useful. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.